Now a crime alert, a manhunt near Pensacola after a shootout between a suspect and four sheriff's deputies. Escambia County Sheriff David Morgan says it was a running gun battle, but all of his deputies are okay. Our Cody Long is live tonight in Pensacola. Cody, how is the suspect doing tonight? Well, he's in the hospital tonight, Peter, with several gunshot wounds. And deputies say that after he fired his gun at them, he ran into the woods, leading them on a two-hour manhunt. This was the scene Friday afternoon across the Bellevue area, just south of Softly Field in Escambia County. Deputies were serving a felony warrant on Tyler Brooks near Matthews Junction and Softly Pines Road. That warrant was for a battery on a law enforcement officer. When we get there, we noticed that he has, has a long rifle or a, a long gun trained on a member of his family. And then when he sees us show up, he immediately turns that on us and starts firing at us. Sheriff David Morgan says Brooks has a lot of high-powered weapons and body armor. We exchanged a considerable amount of gunfire uh, with Mr. Brooks. Uh, you know, it was a running gun battle. He ran back towards the wooded perimeter area, uh, and our deputies were exchanging fire with him. A canine tracked him down, and because this was an officer involved shooting, now the Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating. And as you can imagine, Brooks is now facing even more charges, including attempted murder of a law enforcement officer. Live in Pensacola, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.